Welcome to another Loser Review. I'm Ravi, and today we have the last piece in the Ralph McQuarrie concept art series, The Darth Vader by Sideshow Collectibles. Knife me. So you may notice there is what looks like scotch tape on here. That's because I already opened the box just to make sure the correct item is in the box. And then I put scotch tape back on so that we could do this like, oh my goodness, he's, he's opening it for the first time in front of us. Cardboard. Oh boy. I always try and be, you know, careful when I open these boxes. Giant thank you from Sideshow in a variety of languages that I can't speak. So this is 260 out of 750. Knife me. So on the top of the box, there's something up here. Looking at these, I believe these are pieces of the base. I used to drink my tequila while sniffing new products. Something I do. Mr. Vader is in pieces. I always like to start with the bases. They are typically the heaviest piece. It's a three-tiered platform. The first thing that comes to mind looking at this base, Cloud City, Bespin. One thing I seem to be missing, instructions. I'm glad that they think I know what I'm doing, but... Got a little hand. We have got his lightsaber. So we get not one, but two different types of heads to try. Wow. They are different. I don't know when, which one's more horrifying. This one kind of looks like, hey, I know you did wrong. And you know, I'm mad at you. This one looks like pure terror is about to come. Now we're gonna take out the rest of the whole thing. Wow. All right. So, place this guy right in there. Nice snug fit. The pieces themselves are kind of shaped, shape matched if you will, so you can't really confuse them. So that's nice. Oop, force choking hand. I'm gonna go with the one of pure terror. I get to look at it first. That is just horrifying. For some reason, this is a lot more intimidating than uh, the actual Vader we got. I'm not sure if it's the head. Maybe it's the fact that just everything is black. Just try the other head. Ah. It reminds me of the main bad guy from G.I. Joe. Not intimidating. And the helmet just doesn't fit right for some reason. I can kind of see maybe why Darth Vader as he is today is not really drawn from this particular one. This one though is... That's a really angry Vader and just horrifying. Let's get rid of that stupid head. I don't like that head. Vader is actually carrying a blaster. You can actually see an accessory on his belt as to where the lightsaber would go. I'm a big person on the, like, the bases. I feel like the bases kind of pull everything together. And this definitely pulls this piece together. Definitely worth the wait. And I've been waiting for over a year for this particular one. It's gonna look amazing with you know the trio all finally together. What Ralph McQuarrie drew decades ago, I think this captures it perfectly. This is where they started from. This is their the concept for them and for what we have now. It's a real treat to kind of actually have something physical as opposed to just a, a two-dimensional drawing. It's just awesome. It's an amazing thing to have. <sighs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed what you just saw, take a look at these other videos from this week's LuzoCast. You can find the full podcast on Facebook and iTunes. For more nerdy goodness, subscribe to Luzo on YouTube and follow us on Facebook Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you. How do you think they get up there? It's magic. <laughs>